Hello Morocco! I'm at IKEA in Casablanca to talk about the founder Ingvar Komprad. I'm going to share six lessons from this billionaire that you can apply to your life. Plus, I'll share three hilarious facts I guarantee you didn't know about IKEA. Let's do it. Lessons we can learn from Ingvar Komprad and apply to our life. Number one, hustle. He started selling matches door to door when he was just six years old. Later, he added pens and pencils, Christmas decorations, fish. When other kids were riding bikes and playing football, Ingvar was hustling. In fact, he started this company when he was just 17 years old. You got big dreams and big goals? You better hustle. Number two, overcome opposition. Just to finish high school was a major accomplishment for Comprad because he was dyslexic. He studied really hard, he worked very hard in school, he got good grades, and his father rewarded him with a small sum of money, which he used to fund IKEA. Other opposition he faced? IKEA has always had crazy low prices. Competitors have always opposed this, and they convinced suppliers to boycott Comprad. So he was forced to bring in products from Poland. Now, this took a lot of guts to do business there because at the time it was very undeveloped. Also, during the Cold War, it became an enemy of the West. So he had a lot of haters and opposition. Now, if you want to walk the pathway to success, you're going to experience opposition as well. And like Comprad, you've got to learn to overcome. Number three, be frugal. IKEA is one of the most profitable private companies in the world, yet they've never borrowed money and never issued stock. All of this comes from Comprad's example. Despite being a billionaire, he drove an old Volvo, he flew economy class, he would stay in cheap hotels, he was even known to take the free salt and peppers from restaurants so he could use them at home. Frugality is one of the principles that has allowed IKEA to lower their prices year after year. So if you're young and you want to get on the fast track to financial independence or you want to start a company and grow it, being frugal is one of the strategies that can help you. Number four, innovate. I used to have an old Honda Civic hatchback and I bought a big dresser from a furniture store, not IKEA, and when I drove it around to the loading dock, the employees laughed and said, there's no way it's gonna fit in there. But that car was a miracle and we got it in. In 1956, an IKEA employee was trying to load a table into a car but couldn't make it fit. Finally, what did they do? They removed the legs and voila, the flat pack was born. A brilliant innovation in the furniture industry. Another idea was adding a restaurant into every store. Comprad noticed that customers would leave when they were hungry without purchasing anything. And so he decided, let's put a restaurant in every store. Let's offer them food. People have lunch, they have dinner, they stay longer, they buy more. Number five, start small. IKEA has over 400 stores scattered across five continents. It's easy to forget that they began very, very small. They were 15 years old before the first brick and mortar store opened. And it was more than two decades before they expanded outside of Sweden. So don't be afraid to start small and grow something slowly over time. Finally, number six, guard your time. Ingvar Komprad considered time to be precious and he never wanted to waste any of it. Listen to his advice. 10 minutes are not just one sixth of your hourly salary. 10 minutes are a piece of yourself. Divide your life into 10 minute units and make every effort to sacrifice as few of them as possible to meaningless activity. Now, if you examine your phone usage, you'll probably find you're sacrificing five, 10, 20, maybe even 30 of those precious 10 minute blocks to meaningless activity every day. Now, if you want to become your country's most successful entrepreneur ever, you cannot live like that. You've got to learn to guard your time. When Comprad died last year, he was worth $58 billion. No matter what your goals are, the six lessons in this video will help you reach them. Okay, now stick around for some fun facts. The weird names of IKEA products actually have a system. Since Comprad was dyslexic, he couldn't remember numbers. So he named the couches after places in Sweden, the carpets after places in Denmark, 
the tables after places in Finland, etc. A system to help him remember their names. IKEA sells a billion meatballs a year, and they're delicious. It's been estimated that 10% of all children born in Europe were conceived in an IKEA bed. Hopefully not in the store. <laughs> Bonus fact, IKEA is an acronym. IK is for Ingvar Komprad, the E is for the farm, and A is for the town where he grew up in Sweden. All right, Morocco, that's it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, get wisdom.